Hey, hey there. The faith I live by April 29th, the just shall live by faith. Colossians 2, 6. As you have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk you in him. Our growth and grace, our joy, our usefulness, all depend upon our union with Christ. It is by communion with him daily, hourly, by abiding in him that we are to grow in grace. He is not only the author, but the finisher of our faith. It is Christ first and last and always. He is to be with us, not only at the beginning and the end of our course, but at every step of the way. Do you ask, how am I to abide in Christ? In the same way as you received him at first. As you have therefore received Christ, Jesus the Lord, so walk you in him. The just shall live by faith. You gave yourself to God to be his holy, W-H-O-L-L-Y, to serve and obey him. And you took Christ as your savior. You could not yourself atone for your sins or change your heart. But having given yourself to God, you believe that he, for Christ's sake, did all this for you. By faith, you became Christ. And by faith, you are to grow up in him. By giving and taking, you are to give all your heart, your will, your service, give yourself to him to obey all his requirements, and you must take all, Christ the fullness of all blessings to abide in your heart, to be your strength, your righteousness, your everlasting helper, to give you power to obey. Consecrate yourself to God in the morning, make this your very first work. Let your prayer be, take me, O Lord, as wholly thine. I lay all my plans at thy feet. Use me today in thy service. Abide with me and let all my work be wrought in thee. This is a daily matter. Each morning, consecrate yourself to God for that day. Surrender all your plans to him to be carried out or given up as his providence shall indicate. Thus, day by day, you may be giving your life into the hands of God, and thus your life will be molded more and more after the life of Christ. Hope you have a great day today. Live in faith.